YouTube, we're doing a build video for once today. So obviously, as you can tell by all the G Gundam attire, we're doing the RG God Gundam and the expansion set for the RG God Gundam. So this should be a fun build. Um, we're just going to build it. We're going to put it together. I don't think I've done enough kits or am knowledgeable enough on kits to qualify this as a review video. Um, but I'll talk about it as I'm building it. I'm excited for it. So yeah, it should be good. Let's, uh, let's get started. All right, first impressions. That's a lot of fucking water slides. It's stickers, not water slides. All right, we got the spinning. I don't know what you call these, the rising sun things that go on the back of the burning Gundam when it uses Godfinger. So we're going to put that, I don't know, over here. That'll be one of the last things we fuck with, I imagine. All right, not too many runners. We should be in the clear to finish this in a reasonable amount of time. I say knowing full well that will probably not be the case. All right, what are we looking at first? Head, I'm assuming. Oh man, this one starts with the legs. Let's go. Get these out of the way early. Look at those cute little feet. Impressive articulation. I quite like that. It wasn't the worst leg in the world to put together, but we've got another one left, so let's see how I feel after that. Well, we made it through the legs. Honestly, not too bad as far as legs for mobile suits go. Um, there were a few little pieces of armor and, and hitting the two sides of the inner frame together was like a real pain on one of the sides, but otherwise not too bad. And we got the grueling part out of the way, so the rest of the suit should be easy peasy. All right, chat, time for the waist. <laughs> Chance. Oh, 
Okay, so this is kind of cool. The um, parts of the waist, the like side pieces that the beam sabers connect to, actually connect to like these front flaps here. Um, I think that's super cool because the waists on certain suits can be a real hmm, hassle is probably the nicest way to put it um, and just like fall off. But I feel like if it's attached not to the main waist piece, it's like a little bit easier to maneuver around. That's really cool. I like that. Well, chat, this is shaping up real. I called you chat. This is a YouTube video. YouTubers. Just kidding. You're not getting called that. But the suit's looking really good. I'm excited. Let's keep going. All right, chat, we've got sticker choices for the next part. Excuse me, Skater Domo. We're gonna do King of Hearts in black with the red background. Or maybe that's like a metallic, gray, silver. One step closer, chat. This looks really nice. I am really enjoying this suit. This is a lot of fun to build. Holy shit, fuck these stickers. I mean, oh, you can't even see it, but I did a good job. You gotta believe me. <laughs> All right, now we just gotta do it one more time on the flip side and uh, try to not think about how we have to do it again on the other arm. Oh my god, that was miserable. I gotta do it again. Wait, I forgot. I gotta do it again right now. Oh, is that the is that the god finger armor? I think it might be chat. Just gotta put some blue on it. I was gonna say at least I only have to do god finger on one hand, and then I remembered that technically the god Gundam can god finger on both hands. In that one fight with Sai Saichi is the one time he uses both hands to Godfinger. So I'm assuming I'm gonna have to do both hands for this. <laughs>
pretty cool chat now it says to put in a lame hand but we're gonna put in the god finger right now because i don't follow your rules bandai why are there under gates on everything there's our benketsu god finger chat or for the english dub listeners erupting burning finger I'm an English dub listeners. The English dub is incredible. That is, once again, a pretty immense amount of rotation you can get on this. That's really cool. That's awesome. What do we want in the left arm chat? I've never been a fan of double god finger. But I think we need two for the Sekiha Tengyoken, right? I like this step. So it says, like, check to make sure it moves. Which is hilarious. Well, one, because, I mean, I guess it makes sense. But also, if it doesn't move, what the fuck are you supposed to do? All right, chat. Looking good. We're almost done. That looks more normal. That's about what I was expecting. I gotta say, this kit looks quite good. We're not quite finished yet, but we're almost done. I like it. <laughs> I have to say, the Corlander, without a doubt, one of my favorite parts of the Burning Gundam. It is just so cool how it just slots right in there, and then its wings turn into the, like, super mode wings. It's so cool. Fun fact about the God Gundam is there is a design of it that was very, very insect-like, and I think the only holdover we really got is the Corlander still kind of looks like a cute little bug. I gotta be honest. I love it. I would say the only other insect holdover is if you put the wings like this, it also looks a little, a little insect-like. I do like it. But anyway, let's get some of these special effects on. Well, chat, there we have it. 
just like that our boy is finished fuck he looks really cool this was an awesome build so obviously i have a lot of stickers and panel lining to do but i'm not going to do that on video i might do it on stream but uh probably not so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put them aside for now and we're going to take a look at the expansion set and then at the very end i'll do some like like a glamour shot reel um once he's got all the stickers and the panel lining done overall i really enjoyed this kit i think it was um a little and it makes sense because it's like a real grade but it was a little easier to put together than the master grade old god gundam um and i love the like rising sun hyper mode effects they're super cool so sweet we'll put them aside for now and take a look at the rest Great. expansion set time Looks like we got some building to do, chat. Mostly Foon Psyche. Alright, so first things first, it looks like we have to choose between uh, assembling the Godfinger or the Sekiha Tengyoken, because they use the same base. Uh, so we're doing the Sekiha Tengyoken. Uh, Godfinger is very cool. But Sekiha Tengyoken is... Damn, I almost said more iconic, and I don't think that's true. But it's very cool too. My personal favorite. That is really, really cool, chat. I like that. Alright, so the Sekiyoth Tengyoken can kind of tap into his chest there and hang out there, but it can also go on a stand, which is absolutely what I'm going to be doing because I think that's way cooler. Very cool, chat. We got our Sekiha Tengyoken. But in the interest of time, we're gonna... Oops. Oops. Panic ensues. We're gonna move the Sekiha Tengyoken over here. And bring him back over here. Alright. Let's do the hyper mode display. Oh, there's a wire in here. I'm terrified. I don't know what it could be used for. Boon Psyche, I guess? Oh, that's really cool. That's super cool. Look at that. That's really cool. That's pretty cool. I am a fan of that. I'll have to work out how to pose it for the final pictures, but that is really, really awesome. The hyper mode display is sick. But it does mean we are once again running out of room. Here, we'll move the Sekiha Tengyoken in there. Alright, up next is Foon Psyche, and it looks like there's not that many steps, so we're gonna build it. Okay, so it's like this kind of off-white color. Um, I've been told you have to do a lot of the color correction yourself, since it only comes with white and red parts, and then stickers for some of them. Which, I don't know how I feel about that, but it is what it is. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I'm tired. Don't do what I did. Big mistake. Now we must disassemble the horse. I was just fully autopiloting. Oh, right. I guess I should take the horn out. Jeez. <laughs> Oh, 
All right, easy fix. Now we got a horse again. Ah, that's what the wire's for, the reins. Okay, that makes sense. You gotta drive a horse somehow. I don't know if this is up or down. I guess this is up. <laughs> it's a little bit deceptive with its joints. Like it, it has parts that rotate, but they really only, like the head only fits on one way, and it has that much like rotation. I guess it's better than nothing, but or C. And here we have Finn Psyche. All right, so that pretty much does it for the expansion set and the RG God. It's pretty cool. I really like this. Oh, wait, hold on. Can I just connect back? Is that allowed? Like, do I need the stand? Okay, so you can connect back. That's really cool. Um,. So yeah, I said this wouldn't be a review, but I figure I should at least put some thoughts in there. The RG God Gundam is probably one of my favorite suits I've ever put together. It's up there with the RG Zeong, for sure, and the Psycho Zaku. Obviously a little less intense than those two. As a fun little, like, six to seven hour kit, I really liked that. I would say it's probably took me as long as the RG Zeong, but I adore G Gundam, as I think a lot of you know. So I think it's a very, very cool suit, even outside of my of my immense bias towards G Gundam. As far as the expansion kit goes, it's very cool for me. Fun Psyche's neat, but I have to do a lot of work here. And the Sekiha Tengyoken and the machine gun punch effects are also very cool. However, I don't know if they're totally worth the price tag. Like, it's what, $32 retail? I guess you do get Fun Psyche, which is a pretty sizable piece of plastic. The other effects are cool. Spreading out the hyper mode to G Gundam fans is really cool, but I don't know if that little effect is worth it for people who aren't really into G Gundam. So I guess it comes down to if you really like your God Gundam or if you really like G Gundam, then the expansion kit is pretty much the most perfect thing in the world, along with the RG God. Just super amazing. I would say if you're not a huge G Gundam fan, but you just want to get your hands on the newest real grade, then yeah, definitely pick up the God Gundam. It's very cool. Maybe skip the expansion set though, unless any of these little pieces really jump out to you. So yeah, thank you all for watching. This is my first build video, but I hope to do more. I could maybe make it a monthly thing. I was thinking about doing a Patreon, possibly doing a monthly build video and letting Patreons like view it as a stream. But yeah, we'll see. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful next Gunpla build. Yeah! All right, here's a bonus. My girlfriend got me a magic pack, so this is a bonus secret unboxing, unpacking stream. This will go at the end of the video. Oh, we got Boil Mountain. And then we're just looking at the rares. Millstone for the uh, retro frame. 
Phyrexian Dragon Engine, which is half the meld. Sick. That's like $4 now. And a Rock Hunter. Wait, I think you're a Mishrakin now. I am a Mishrakin. 